Imagine a bowling ball, imagine a golf ball. The bowling ball is definitely being pulled down harder with a higher force of gravity. So shouldn't it go down faster and hit the ground? Well, you would think so, yes, but there's one big thing that most people, when you first think about this, are not considering. It is true that the golf ball is being pulled, I'm sorry, that the bowling ball, it is true, is being pulled down harder with a higher force of gravity than a golf ball. But that, that bowling ball has more mass, and because of that, it has a higher inertia. It is harder to get a higher massive things, it's harder to get them to start moving. Right? So the bowling ball is being pulled down harder, but it's also harder to get going. It's harder to get moving. So the force of gravity is pulling down on it harder, but it's difficult to get the bowling ball to begin moving compared to something that doesn't have as much mass like a golf ball. If you were to go to deep space and grab a car and push on the car, it would be very hard to push the car. You could do it because you're in space, but you, it'd be very hard. You have to give a lot of effort to get it going, but it would take no effort at all to throw that golf ball. Right? Things with mass resist motion. We call it inertia. Right? Would you rather be, uh, would you rather it if I throw a golf ball at you or if I throw a bowling ball at you? Well, the bowling ball is going to have a lot more inertia. Same velocity as the golf ball. It's going to hurt a lot more when that bowling ball hits. It has more inertia. It's difficult to, to get it moving and it's more difficult to stop it from moving. That's why very heavy cars, you know, they, they can do a lot of damage in a car accident because they're very, very massive. Right? Um, it is true that the golf ball, or that the bowling ball, is being pulled down harder. Um, but at the same time, it is more difficult to get the ball moving, and those two effects cancel out. And so when you compare it to the golf ball, it's being pulled down with less of a force of gravity, but it's much easier to get the golf ball moving. And those two effects cancel out. So the golf ball and the bowling ball actually fall at the same rate all the way down, 9.8 meters per second squared at the surface approximately on Earth. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.